Well, after being out of the country in the UK and Europe for four and a half months, I came home with a pretty lousy souvenir, COVID. That's why I have not been posting or even commenting over the last couple of days because I've been really sick. Um, let me back up and tell you kind of how our trip ended. After living in Britain for almost four months, we did our three week tour of various places on the continent and it was really fun, but really action packed and busy. And at the end of that, we spent uh, about three days in Paris. And throughout our trip, um, you know, it really just felt like the pandemic was over. Masks weren't required in most places. In some countries we were, we visited, you still had to wear masks on public transit, but, um, but once we got to France, it wasn't required. And so I was never wearing masks and, and I just was pretty relaxed because I felt like I had good immunity, the pandemic's over, it's all good. And I rode a lot of crowded metro trains those last two or three days. Ian did somewhat, but he also opted for riding um, bikes around Paris a lot, so he wasn't on the metro as much as I was. Well, then we get to the day that we're supposed to fly home. We were staying at the airport hotel um, at the Charles de Gaulle airport and woke up in the morning and looked at my flight information and it said that the flight was delayed four hours. I felt fine. We got up, we worked out, we decided to do laundry at the hotel since we had all this extra time. So we went to the, the flight and got on the plane and I was feeling totally fine. Well then a few hours into this 10 hour flight, I started feeling congested. My head got really, my sinuses got really stuffed up. My nose was running, I was sneezing a lot. And I thought, wow, maybe I'm just having allergies to something on the plane. The plane was super full because American Airlines has been canceling a lot of flights. So there was a flight to Chicago that had gotten um, bumped onto our flight. So there was a human in every single seat on that plane. There were a lot of people coughing and stuff. So even though we didn't have masks on when we boarded the plane, a few hours into the flight, Ian had a person next to him across the aisle that was coughing nonstop. So he um, he put on a mask, I put on a mask, and it was just kind of a miserable flight because I was really not feeling well. And then we got home and went to bed that night and I woke up the next morning feeling horrible, absolutely horrible. So I'll back up and tell you one fun story of something that happened as we were boarding the plane. Um, I was in the queue going down the jetway to board the plane and the woman in front of me had on a magenta backpack. So of course I said something to her, struck up a conversation. And to make a long story short, we discovered that we had both been born in the same hospital in the same suburb of Chicago. Isn't that crazy? So I'll, of course I asked her to pose for a selfie with me. So I'll insert the photo here so you can see the cute photo. So I was feeling great when I got on that plane, but 10 hours later when I got off, I was feeling awful. And you know, the sleep deprivation of not getting to sleep that night and the seven hour time difference shift in jet lag <coughs> definitely don't help. So I got up the next morning and I I couldn't, I, I had trouble sleeping because I couldn't breathe all night. And, and then I woke up and I just felt like all my skin was just a big raw nerve ending. It just hurt all over. Um, and it kind of had chills. So I'm like, oh, I know I have a fever. So I took my temperature and it was 103. And then I got a COVID uh, rapid test, a antigen lateral flow test, took that, and it said I was COVID positive. And I'm just stunned 
that I get COVID for the first time this late in the pandemic when it's like essentially over because I spent so long being so cautious, so careful, and I just really thought that I was going to dodge it all. And I, I got my third shot, third jab right before we went to England and we were going to come home and get our fourth jab. And by the way, I feel really, really lousy. So if anyone in the comments wants to start making political comments about anti-vaxxing, anti-government, anti-NHS, anti-vax, no, just don't. I'll just delete them. I'm not in any mood to deal with that. I'm really just making this video because I want you guys to know why I've kind of disappeared and also just how shocked I am that this happened. Um, but the one thing that I can be grateful for is that I feel horrible right now, just awful, that at least I'm in my own house. I'm not staying with a friend in Austria or in some random hotel in France or something. So at least I'm here at home and I'm able to isolate from Ian. Ian is feeling fine so far. So I'm hoping that we can keep him from um, getting COVID also. And I'm hoping that it won't last long. Um, but day two of this, I still just feel like the walking dead. But I'm hoping that it will improve from here. And, um, and the biggest irony of this all is that this is my third trip to Britain since the pandemic started. And I managed to stay healthy all summer long, all four and a half months of the trip, I was healthy. And then the day I get home, I feel terrible and you know finally get COVID. But also last year when I was gone in Britain, three months, I came home and the next day I got sick not with COVID, just with a bad cold virus. And um, I was sick for a month and I tested again and again and it was not COVID. But um, but it's just so weird that I'm healthy while I'm gone and then I come home and it's something like my body just says, oh, you can be sick now. And I just like collapse. But um, I will, as soon as I'm coherent enough to think that the the sinus pressure and congestion and a headache are really killer. The sore throat's bad. So I can't even think straight and speak coherently at this point. So forgive me if any of this video doesn't make sense. Um, once I'm feeling better, I'll go back to responding to comments and, um, and putting to the content because I have definitely recorded a ton of super good content from this summer and I can't wait to share it with you. But I'm going to have to wait until I feel better. So um, thanks so much for watching my little update video and do something good in the world today.